again, it's Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Fluid Art Studio with a 16 by 20 inch canvas, an OXO outlet turning flip and fold spatula, a large kitchen spatula, an OX, uh, excuse me, a Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatula that I'm going to get the extra paint that I was getting out of a small bottle, out of that container with. And this is my inspiration piece, which is obvious to me that it has dark purple and some cerulean or some frosted blue. I am a prison pour, excuse me, I'm a color art affiliate, and uh, the only color that we're using that's not from color art is probably the quinacridone nickel azo gold. So I'm going to do what I've been doing consistently and give myself some paint around the outside edges of my canvas so that I can make my puddle in the center flow easier without as much waste. That's my theory and so far it seems to be working. I want to make most of my design, most of my swiping, I want to put it in the center and then hopefully it will spread out and it will spread out definitely when I do a scoop and drag. I don't know, I don't think that I have done a scoop and drag on a 16 by 20 inch canvas. And I watch Winterstrom and when I watch Winterstrom and she does a scoop and drag on a 16 by 20 inch canvas or larger, she uses a much larger pillow than I do. So I'm very curious to find out how that's going to work out. I know that the chances of me making a mess are very good. This may be my first and last painting today. I've got plenty of videos coming up for you guys. Just get rid of any line of demarcation. Wipe off my spatula. Well, I say that, but I'm going to make my <laughs> my edges kind of smooth. And I hope I'm not. I hope I don't take too long. I'm going to put that in the bucket so it doesn't firm it, so it doesn't get gloppy on there. This is Sherwin Williams satin and that is a copious amount of it. Now if I were doing transfers that would be adding more paint from another source and I thought about it but until I do one of these without doing a transfer I'm really not ready to know how far it's gonna go because a 16 by 20 inch canvas is gonna swallow a lot of paint. More paint than I'm used to. Now I've got black but I didn't like the way the black reacted when I did a half, I did a diagonal black and white yesterday and I didn't like how the black reacted with the quinacridone nickelazo gold. I got a really kind of a pretty bronze color but it wasn't something I was super, super excited about. So let's find the most copious place. This is a prism pour called Indian Spice. And this is Mayan Gold, another prism pour. This is my Quinacridone Nickel Azo Gold, which I will probably put some more in before I'm done. I want to make zones of color, and I'm not sure how I'm going to do that. This is the Cerulean Blue. This is the Frozen. No, this is Agave Blue. Well, I could look for the Frozen. I want to look for the Frozen. Where is the Frozen? There's the Frozen. So we're going to use some Frozen too, unexpectedly. Give it a little shake because I wasn't ready. Oh yeah. Alright, so we're going to put those blues away. Thinking that I'm not going to need them again immediately because I've got, this is a jasmine primary element. Maybe I don't need to scrape it out, although I kind of like to not waste things, so. I 
I thought I was going to leave a little bit of white negative space, but I'm kind of wondering. I kind of don't think so. I'm going to throw my little protein powder scoop in the bucket. And I have taken to scooping up stealing paint from the outside edges. So as long as there's something there, I know I can still grab it. And I think I'm going to go back. The Quinacridone Nickel Azo Gold. I've got African Violet. That's a golden product, by the way. African Violet is Color Art Prism Pour. I'm not separating my colors enough. I can see that right now. But I bet it's still going to be pretty. This is Indigo Violet. I've got a Prussian Violet too. And I really like that. There it is. I think I might use some of that. That's the Indigo. I don't know. There's the Prussian. The Prussian is nice and dark. They, they lighten up a lot with the white paint in the background. This is my favorite pink at the moment among five or ten. This is Rhapsody Rose. And I don't need any more of that jasmine. Oh, there's the wild orchid. I love, love, love the wild orchid. Now, it's time. Usually I would add something else, and maybe I should, especially since this is evidently the only bottle out of all the bottles that I checked that is plugged. It's my cell activator, but it's fine. I'm going to bring back the Mayan Gold. And I'm going to use black and white Australian Floetrol, black and white Amsterdam acrylic, in Australian Floetrol. There's the black. I do like using Boom Gel, and uh, if you want the Boom Gel, look for the 10% off color. Look for the 10% off Pixel Paint Designs coupon code. There is a 20% off color art coupon code under the video. All right. just not willing to waste any paint if I can help it. And I'm sure there's going to be some waste. So my cells are developing really nicely. I'm going to try and start slow. Pull up. Sorry about my head. Pull up. I might steal a little something something from one place like this, put it someplace else like that, pull up, anywhere I have solid color like the white is going to expand, so I'm not too worried about that, pull up, break the seal. Pull up, spread those cells out. Try and be try and be slower than I am. <laughs> what have I got? I like everything I've got. I have liked to make S curves, but I also like to pull things either direction. There goes my head again. I 
I love pulling out the quinacridone nickel azo gold cells because they always change to a variety of colors. And I'm not afraid to scrape down a canvas as long as I remember to fill back in after or at least stretch the paint out over the gash that I'm leaving. Now it's been a long time. I wonder how far I need to go. Probably not as far as I think I do. Got some beautiful color combinations. Beautiful. And the cells are popping. I'm using all one palette knife and I don't need to. I will probably also be willing to put a spiral or two in. We'll see how I feel about it. Wow, that looks like it's down to canvas. I'm going to smooth that over. It occurs to me I have some leftover paint. But I'm not sure I want to use it in this right now. going round and round and round in circles. I love putting the blue next to the yellow, especially when it's not actually turning green. I did have some green and I forgot to put it in. Oh well. Where the paint is deep it gives some really nice variegated colors. Question is, can I do it quickly enough? Someday I will have a longer recording camera and my head won't be in the, in the way. But um, that day is not yet. It's a Canon AX series I think it's a 45 and I'm hopeful that at some point in time something good will happen to me so that I can afford that. That's pretty cool. I'm thinking I want to do something more down here and that might include getting my head out of the way. Stealing some more cells. These are gorgeous. Wow. I don't know why it's so hard today to get my head out of the way. Usually my little marble dangling off my piece of tape keeps me, keeps me in check. So I'm thinking I need some blue in there, which means I have to steal it. Which isn't really that hard, as long as you remember to fill in. Cover your tracks, in other words. Pull up, break the seal. Don't forget to pull up and break the seal. It's a pretty much every time thing. I think I'm almost there. I know I probably said that a minute ago. Pop that bubble. Steal a little paint. Well, at least my marble helps my head to stay out of the way part of the time. I like that. I think we're going to have some white left. Let's 
time to find out what a 16 by 20 inch canvas does when I spin it. And I really didn't use a lot of paint around the outside edge, so I'm wondering, maybe I ought to try briefly and tip it. Oh, you know what? I really wanted some to steal some of this paint. That's about par for the course. Let me just fill in where I stole my paint. I'll give myself three minutes and there'll be a minute left after that. So that's pretty cool. I, uh, I don't know what this is going to look like. But I know I need to make sure that my canvas is equidistant as best I can. Because that's where the centrifugal, that's where the equality comes out. That looks pretty even. I hope I'm right. Here goes nothing. It didn't keep any white. Someday I'll figure out how to do that. I didn't put any spirals in, which means it's definitely, there's still time to do that. Now, I tend to want to move that over that way, thinking maybe because everything came this way. See what's moving. Might as well just take the extra paint right off there right now. Shift the balance, shift the weight. Now I could actually take the paint that I've got on my silicone mat and put it back in. But I think what I'm going to do instead is put a couple of spirals in. Maybe not as many as I'm used to. Because I have actually begun to like the patterns without them, too. Let me grab that paint and see if there's something I want to do with it. Like in transfer a little bit of it to the area that doesn't have as much color in it. I want to scoop it up. <laughs> I really do. But I'm not going to. Okay, I think I need another spin. And I like what I've got. You want to make sure a few places are spiraled out that would otherwise be a little odd. I've got one minute left. So I love you guys. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Check my link tree for Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links, Facebook group, Expressionist Art Studio, Gallery Appreciation Group. Um, I do sell my artwork. I give lessons at the house in Spring Hill, Florida. Your comments keep my morale boosted. I'd really appreciate that. I have over... I have 29 lists of 100 videos. I was, I'm glad that wasn't the painting flying off. I'd like to make sure that this is pretty well done before I lose my last opportunity to shimmer it at you. We're a lot off center and I don't have my camera. I don't have my cell phone. I'm so sorry. Wow. Bummer. Okay. Well, I can at least zoom in. And I'm going to try and do a painting with a lot fewer colors. Even though I love the colors, sometimes the three colors together just react really nicely. All right. I love you guys. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Whatever I haven't told you is underneath show more under the video. Don't forget about the color art coupon code for 20% off and the 10% off for uh, pixel paint designs. My Amazon link is 